Hey ladies, I'm Jen Lorman, exercise physiologist, mom of three and co-creator of Tighten Your Tinkler. I'm Christina Walsh, physical therapist, mom of two and co-creator of Tighten Your Tinkler. And we have an amazing guest today. We are so excited for you to meet Natalie Peterson. Natalie is a member of the Tinkler tribe, mama yes, of yes. two. And um, Natalie, we just wanna start out by getting a little more information about you and what you do and how you became a member of the Tinkler Tribe. Sure, absolutely. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me, ladies. I'm so excited to, to share. Um, so I am an exercise physiologist. Um, I'm also an executive leadership coach. So I blend those two fields together. And that's, that's my business. That's what I do. I help busy professionals that are overwhelmed, that are stressed. I help them not only um, get their health and their well-being in order, but then help them in their career through leadership development specific efforts. Um, but I believe that unless you have yourself together, it's really hard to effectively influence anyone else. And so I always start with that, like, let's start with you, let's get you some peace, some, some increase in your health, let's have you feeling good and energized every day, and then we can work on your um, influence of other people. So um, Amen so that's, to that. Yeah, right. I mean, how can you effectively influence anyone when you don't feel good? So, um, so that's what I do for my business. And I um, became a member of the Tighten Your Tinkler tribe. Oh, back in January, I think maybe no, it must have been before the new year. But I was pregnant with my yeah. second baby. And um, I reached out to you ladies, because I when I was playing volleyball. So if I knew then, right, I would go back and maybe not do that. But I was playing volleyball and experiencing some symptoms when I was playing. And so um, for those of you who have played high impact sports, you know, not too uncommon to notice some symptoms, especially when pregnant. And I said, hey, Jen, do you think that this program would help me while I'm pregnant? She said, yeah, of course it would. So um, I became a member of the community then knowing also that it would be great for me to have this accessible and to already be comfortable with the program before I was even postpartum because, you know, as you ladies know, being postpartum is um, overwhelming enough. So to start while I was pregnant made me confident to know that, you know, I would know um, exactly how the program was going to be once I had my baby. I know you said, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I think we're the same way. The symptom with the volleyball, yeah. was it more pain? Was it more continence related? Oh, it was some leakage um, while I was blocking specifically. So I would go up and I would block and I'd come down and I'd be like, dang. <laughs> I'll be gotcha. right back, guys. <laughs> we can relate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you had you had gotten pretty comfortable with the program during pregnancy, the, yeah. the ways that you could access it and use it and, and benefit from it during that phase. And then you had the baby. And then I had the baby. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, so do you want me to tell you a little bit about that experience? What do you guys want to know? What do you think your community wants to know? <laughs> well, I think if we back up a little bit, mm -hmm. we get a lot of questions about whether or not people can do the program pregnant. So yeah. did you find like doing it pregnant? What did you notice improved doing the program pregnant? Because your body was still expanding and changing. Right. Um, and there were some modifications that you did have to yes. make. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So um, it was completely comfortable to do. That's one thing I'll say, like for anybody who is pregnant and wondering, oh, can I do this? Or I haven't been exercising. Can I start this? The program is so accessible for all levels of fitness, which is one thing I really loved. And, and so um, I noticed right away that those symptoms decreased. Now, of course, that led me to not do the program as much because <laughs> then I didn't need it. Right. And no, I, if I could go back, I would have been um, much more diligent. So anybody who enrolls, like I just highly suggest you follow what they say, which I did later. And we'll talk about that 
them in a bit, but I noticed the symptoms decrease, not just when I was playing, but you know, when you're pregnant, you have to pee a lot and, you know, get up in the middle of the night. So there was a decrease in that, which is huge just for sleep. Um, and, uh, I was pretty lucky during my pregnancy, as far as like pain and things like that, that I was noticing a lot of my, um, my experience with the program came later postpartum. So during pregnancy, it was great to do because I knew I was preparing myself, not only like for the birth, but also my recovery as well. Um, so anyone who's considering starting now, I just, yeah. oh, I would highly, highly recommend it. You will be so happy you did take care of your pelvic floor and your hips and everything before giving birth. So can't recommend that enough. <laughs> Well, and then Christina had alluded. So then you, you had the baby. It was your second baby. You had a toddler, which, you know, I think is noteworthy. Many, many of the ladies that come through the program have other uh, older children that they're trying to care for postpartum, which makes it tricky to kind of put something extra on your plate to do for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me just say that like, having the second baby for me was much different in terms of the recovery baby. Number one, it just seemed like, you know, I was exhausted of course, after birth, um, my labor was much longer with baby number one, but physically I seemed to bounce back or heal. You know, I don't really like that term bounce back because we really don't. But at the time, that's what I was thinking is, Oh, I'm good. I'm good to go. Um, baby number two, was not the same. It was about two and a half weeks postpartum when I discovered that I had prolapse. And I only knew what that was, you guys, because of you. And, and I didn't have it when I first got introduced to you, but thank goodness I knew what it was. And I'm an exercise physiologist and I didn't know what to do. And I can only imagine if I felt that way, just that like freaking out, scared, like all these things running through my head, how some women might feel who don't have a history in anatomy and physiology and all of that. Um, So when I discovered that I was, um, that I had prolapse with my second baby, I knew what it was, but I was freaking out. So that's when I'm unnerving. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And it's, it's um, yeah, so many things. So I had, um, I had to do something about it, obviously, right away. And that's when I reached out to you guys because I had I was able to reach out to you one on one. And the relief I felt just talking to someone who understood. Um, because if you look this up, if you Google it, like there's not a lot of reassurance, um, not a lot of guidance other than like, oh, surgery, oh, surgery. And obviously that's not what I wanted. I, you know, so anyway, um, that's when I started right away getting back to the program. And I can tell you within 24 hours of following your guidelines, the symptoms had decreased significantly and have never gone back to what it was that first day that I noticed that I had the prolapse. So overjoyed, overjoyed for you that, that you, had a place to turn. That is why we yes. do this. That is exactly yeah. why we're here and why we are so passionate about this. Is because we want every woman in those moments of uncertainty and fear and anxiety and, and trying to navigate, do I have to live like this now? Because that right. hits your brain and it is terrifying. terrifying. Or maybe it crept up on you more slowly and you've just been convinced this is the way it's going to be. But I'm so overjoyed to hear that because that is what we want to be. We want to be that safe place to turn and, and get results quickly. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. At the end of the day, I mean, I can speak to that personally, you know, you know, my story and that was nightmarish to experience. Um, It's really hard to articulate in words, but I, I know that you're, you're already juggling so many things and then you think, oh my gosh, like literally falling apart. Yeah. What, what's going to happen here? So you said you had the opportunity to reach out one-on-one because we did some one-on-one coaching, which we are opening up actually um, this next round of the program. We're really excited about, we're going to offer 
a couple more spots for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Can you talk about the value of that in that moment? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, you know, you feel alone postpartum in many ways anyway. And as a mom, what, no matter if you gave birth two weeks ago or two years ago or 20 years ago, but there's so many things that you go through and you don't know who to turn to. And when I was going through this and had no idea what to do, just not feeling alone to have somebody say, listen, you got this, you can fix it. Um, here's what to expect. Cause that's another thing is the unknown with it is scary. So to have someone that I trusted to be able to reach out to you guys and say, here's what I'm experiencing now. Well, here's what's gotten better. And here's what's happening now. And so to get the reassurance and then also someone to celebrate your wins, because, you know, you tell somebody who, who's never been through this, oh, I didn't have symptoms until three o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. And everyone's like, okay, what does that even mean? <laughs> but talking to somebody who knows it's like, you can celebrate and, and feel uh, confidence coming back, you know, to feel reassured and that, I mean, those emotional aspects alone were huge. Um, and, and then I love, that, I love that you've chosen to share some of those wins in, in that private Facebook group that everybody who joins the program is a member of, because yeah. that is some of the benefit, all the other women in there may not be having a win at that moment, but when you yeah. take that time to share that win, it makes all of us, or what if I'm in a flare up? I still deal with this stuff too. It makes yeah. you feel like that victory is within reach. And yes. that has been a lovely gift that you, you've given all of us participating in that group in that way. And I'm happy to do that, you know, because as I said, there's not a lot of people talking about this. So I'm like, well, this is what I wanted to be reading when I was at like the low point. I wanted to be reading about women who had been where I was and who had done the work and, you know, found a fix for them and shared their milestones because the, the progress is, is slow. Right. And you, you guys have talked about that in, in your program, you talk about what to expect and even knowing what to expect helps. And so to, to be able to share with other women who may be going through it or um, heck not even realizing, Oh, wait, I have that symptom too. You know, maybe I do need this a little bit more than I have thought. Um, I want to share my story so that someone else can hear it and, and feel a little bit more comforted um, because that that's been invaluable to me. So when you were kind of re rebooting the program postpartum, yeah. when you found mm -hmm. that prolapse was present, you felt the bulge and you were reaching out for help and, and tools, would you say that the tools that you needed were already in the program? Oh, I feel absolutely. Like yeah. Yeah. And it just was a little bit of redirection because you were using it a little bit differently, or you maybe need to focus on a couple different components in the program. And that's what the guidance that we are ready, ready to provide can do to help each person refine and tweak which piece of this do you yeah. need today? And do you need, as you progress in your journey, all the pieces are there and yes. you learned all the pieces. We're able to guide you to have how to implement them to optimize your results at each stage. Yeah. Well, that was the, the biggest thing, you know, aside from the emotional support, comfort and confidence that came from it is, like I said, I, this is my background is exercise physiology, but there were things happening with my body that I, I wasn't trained to know what to do. And I, you know, I wasn't sure, um, what was the right thing? What was the wrong thing? So there was a couple times I reached out to you guys saying, here's this symptom or pain or, or tightness that I'm having. Is it okay to still do these exercises? And there were a couple times when I got some guidance to say, well, back off here and incorporate this instead. Right. And to say, yeah. oh, don't, don't do this stretch that you would have intuitively done. Cause that could increase your symptoms. So, I mean, this is yes. so layered and to, be able to reach out to somebody who I knew would tell me exactly what to do. Again, it's the comfort, but then also the expert guidance to say, all right, I'm going to do this because my coaches told me to, and I trust them. So I have a couple questions about, you know, oftentimes as moms, it's, it's difficult to find the time to invest mm -hmm. in ourselves. And even when 
there is an incessant need like prolapse where you know that there's a problem. Mm -hmm. um, how did you find the time with a toddler and a newborn? Yeah, yeah. So the first thing I did is I had a conversation with my husband, my partner, and I said, this is what's going on. I need to take care of this. So this is what I'm going to need to do every day. Um, and, and in the beginning he was off work. So I was able to do these things alone by myself, but that only was the case for a couple of weeks. So then it got real. And, um, for me, it, it just became a making the commitment with myself that it was a non-negotiable, that it was something that I had to do that I, um, gave myself permission to do. And now anyone who's had trouble with that, like if they've had trouble committing to it or finding the time, this is also what I do too. This is what I teach people how to do. So it was about practicing what I preach to say, yeah. this, this is the exact time every day I'm going to do it. Here's the morning routine that I'm going to set. Um, but to always have a plan B as well. So yes. there's, <laughs> there's levels of, um, focus, I guess that I have like some days, like today I was doing the exercises. And when I'm in my plank, I got my toddler crawling underneath me. And so maybe my focus isn't totally a hundred percent, but that's okay. So it's yes. that plan B saying like, I'm going to do it anyway. If I have to stop and take a break, that's okay too. Um, and, and really it's just, it, for me it was just about, um, communicating my needs as much as possible with the people around me. And then also um, just, you know, letting it not be perfect. You know, if I'm laying in my 90-90 pose or doing a, a, a posture that I, you know, in an ideal world would be in dim lighting and nice music, <laughs> but that's not real life. So just being okay with like having to stop or having my kid come and like sit on me while I'm doing it and having to ask her to move or, you know, you guys know those kinds of mm -hmm. things, but um and the last thing I'll say is I've talked also to my daughter who's three, but I've talked to her about like, I need to heal up. I need to get stronger. There was a while I couldn't carry her, you guys. And that <laughs> broke my heart every time she'd be crying and say, pick me up or carry me. So explaining to her why I need to do it and um, that it's for her benefit as well as my own. And so it's, it's a process. It's a daily process, but keeping it just at the front of my mind. And if it's not a significant hurdle you're trying to get over, if it's not prolapse, so it gets shifted to the back seat. even just putting a sticky note on your mirror to say, you know, do your, do yeah. the program today is helpful. Keeping it visible. I have to ask, can you carry her now? Yes. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yep. I can carry her. I can push her on the swings. I can play at the park. And I mean, though, that's what that's yeah. what was important to me is like being able to push the stroller while she rides her bike and, and just have fun with my kids without having to say, Oh, I can't do this. And um, that, and that choice that you made to take care of you for 10 minutes that morning and every morning is the reward. The payoff is so huge because you get to mom the way that okay. your heart wants to be there for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On your family. <laughs> Cause you do and feel I the guilt, that, you know, you feel the guilt yes, of taking that time, but, but I really love that. And I try to tell myself this, you're teaching your daughter as a working mom, that that is important and that you're modeling that for her mm -hmm. so that she will be more likely to choose to take care of herself one day. I think it's setting an amazing thing in motion. So it's, it's bigger so than too. all that. But. And even for the boy mom is it's important yeah. that the boys <laughs> see it too, because right. they need to understand that their wives or their significant others will, will need to take time for themselves and that they should as well. What would you say that you appreciated the most or um, got the most benefit from in the program? Oh my gosh, the most, I have to pick one thing. <laughs> you can pick a couple. <laughs> so for me personally, it's having a plan, having a solution to the problem that I have and, and I knew that you ladies had that. Um, so, so just having a plan of action. Um, I also appreciated that there were progressions 
that I didn't have to like come in day one and be able to do everything all at once that I could work my way up. Um, so I'll, those are the first two. And the last thing is just that it, like you, we talked about at the very beginning that it's all inclusive, that it, I didn't need to like seek other things. It was all there, like the recovery aspect, the, some of the nutritional changes, the, the guidance there, but then also the, the 10, 15 minute program was available there too. And, and it was just all there in one place, um, including some of the mindset stuff when I first got into the program while I was pregnant and I watched the mindset video, I'm like, Oh, that's cool that they're doing that. That's great that they've included it. I didn't know until I was going through my second postpartum with prolapse. I'm like, Oh, thank goodness. This is there where they talk about <laughs> how you have to like, you yeah. know, be mentally strong about it and also not obsess about it. You know, you guys just were so real about that aspect that um, it just helped from a strength physically, but also mentally standpoint. That's wonderful to hear. You said mm -hmm. that so beautifully. Thank oh, good. All yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so if there's a mom out there that's watching this, that is on the fence about whether or not to make the investment in the mm -hmm. program, what would you tell her? Wow. Um, I would just say, don't wait, don't wait on your your health, um, that it's, I mean, this investment is priceless. It pays off. It will pay off for the rest of your life. Um, if you are someone who needs this program and you don't make the investment, it's not going to fix itself. It's, it's not going to fix itself. It's not going to get better on its own. In fact, it will get worse, unfortunately, um, and maybe slowly, but it will. And, and any investment you make in yourself now, it just, it will pay dividends for forever. So if you're on the fence, but you secretly, like there's a voice telling you, you need it, do it, do it. And, and don't wait. So um, if I would have known then what I know now, so if I would have known at the beginning of my pregnancy, what I know now, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I don't know that it would have changed things, you know, but I would have done the program my whole pregnancy so if you're on the fence, just do it for sure. I know we've talked about symptoms and we've talked mm -hmm. about the diagnosis of prolapse, but yeah. that doesn't always resonate with a lot of the women that we're talking about because many haven't had a formal diagnosis. So what would you say are the issues or things that have improved the most for you? Yeah. So, um, I am that person or was that person that just like had to pee all the time and woke up multiple times a night to go to the bathroom. This is before kids. So, you know, it's always been a part of me, I guess. And now I don't do that the way I used That's to. Huge. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there are so many more, um, nights when I just wake up when the baby wakes up because I have to, but don't even get out of bed. So that's been a huge one, like not having to pee all the time. Um, my just like lower back and hip tightness and pain. I've, I've had that as well. And that has improved. Um, and of course the, the symptoms of just like feeling the heaviness, like in yes. my pelvic area, especially after having, um, the second baby, just walking or doing things. It's like at first would be always on my mind. Like I would always be noticing it. And now that's not, um, that's not the case, which has been really just freeing as well. Um, see, it's, not, it's an amazing feeling when like you have this epiphany that like it, you get a little bit of that symptom again and you, and that's what makes you realize I haven't felt that in a week. <laughs> Right. It's like you forget about it. And that right. is the best feeling. Right. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, for, for anybody who's watching and like, isn't sure if they have certain symptoms, there's certain things. Um, like I read the way to describe it, like having a, a stuck tampon is a symptom that for me, I experienced, had experienced a lot. So that feeling has yes. subsided greatly. Um, but there's, you know, 
feel like I'm missing out on things. So if there's things, well, I was going to say I'm we're rolling into sexual um, health awareness month. Yeah. We're actually in it right now. We're going to be putting out more content over the next two weeks on that specifically. Mm -hmm. Can you speak to any of those symptoms in terms of pain with intimacy, lack mm -hmm. of friction? Um, has has anything improved in that department? You don't need to sure go sure. deep. Yeah. So luckily I, I didn't have a ton of those symptoms, um, this time around, but one thing I can share, um, because I think it will help, um, ladies that are doing the program. If you had any, um, like tearing or scar tissue, whether it was from a cesarean or from a, a, a tear, uh, mobilize your scars ladies, yeah. because that will, help things tremendously. And, yes. um, and so I, I can't speak to specific symptoms there as far as the, the pain and physical stuff, but the mental, uh, roadblocks have been lifted, um, because of the program. Like it was one of those things flashing through your mind when you first discover some symptoms is you're like, Oh my gosh, what does this mean for, you know, my personal life or intimacy yeah. and that, and, and for, quite some time I was, um, really insecure about it. And I was feeling like, yes. I don't know that I'm ready for this. I don't know what it's going to be like. Um, but as I continued with the program and felt more confident and felt stronger, I was able to get to the point where I was ready again, mentally, um, as well as physically. So I, I guess I can speak to that part. So even if it's a mental roadblock, as, as you ladies know, that can be just as prominent as a physical roadblock. So that. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes. And yeah, to reconnect with your center our energetic center as women, mm -hmm. um, yes. is, is a huge part of feeling prepared for that intimate connection. And, mm -hmm. and like you said, whether it's causing pain or it just isn't the same, or you're just nervous about it yeah. to reconnect and feel restored there only is going to be positive for that aspect, which is so important in every intimate relationship. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. We are so grateful that you have come <laughs> and spent some time with us today. And I know we spoke a little bit about what you do for women, specifically female entrepreneurs like mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And um, if ladies would like to connect with you, where can they do that? Yeah, absolutely. That would be wonderful. So um, if you're looking for just social media, I'm on um, most of the platforms, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all the same handle. It's at Natalie Petey, so P-E-T-Y. And then I also um, have a, a Facebook group that's just open for working moms. That's, um, you can find it on Facebook at Empowered Working Moms. So yeah, we'll a, drop that link yeah. in the comments below for your Facebook group, because it is, it's yeah. a great Facebook group for working moms. And it's not like a typical mom Facebook group. It's pretty Natalie runs a tight ship. It's really good information. And it's not Thank like, you. I don't know how to, you know, other mom groups can sometimes, you know, I don't know, squirrel or whatever, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. I feel like it's all relevant information to working moms, which I appreciate awesome. because I think when you are a female entrepreneur, you're trying to use your time wisely. And so you can find some great content in there. Yeah. Which, well, just, just like, you know, the network you ladies have created, that's what I'm, I was looking to do too, as a place for moms to just feel like, like they aren't alone. And that's, you know, you guys have created that. And I, that's what I hope that I'm creating for women too. So um, thank you for doing what you do. Like, I, I really don't know what my journey would have looked like without you two and without your program. So to anybody who's considering, like they're the best, they know their stuff, you will get the results that you're, that you need. And you'll get results that you don't even know that you need too. So that's a whole other thing, but you'll get things out of this. Yeah. You don't even realize. Well, thanks Natalie. You're and welcome. we hope to visit with you soon via coaching. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Both of you. All right, guys, take care. Bye.